right, let's start off with Bear. He's having a good time, knocked out after a long day. Wifey's shooting content. Let's head on over to the rig. So of course uh, it's leveled off. Those are go threads. They are leveling kits and also traction boards. So uh, we use that to level out the vehicle so that we have a great uh, sleep. I have just a cheap floor mat here. Of course the iCamper SkyCamp 2 setup. This is just a cheap um, canvas lined organizer that we picked up from Walmart. It was like $10. It works instead of uh, buying the $60 iCamper bag. Let's go ahead and climb on up. All right, so we've got the regular mattress here. Uh, we haven't upgraded this one, but we have an XPED 10 mattress here. Um, it's really comfortable, especially if you're a side sleeper. I have videos on how we're setting that up. It's definitely been a great addition. This is a Teton zero degree sleeping bag. It's great. It fits inside the eye camper and it's four seasons. So we sleep on top of it if we're camping in the summer. And when it's winter time, we're definitely tucked in with the uh, Eskimo covers on top as well. We've got a set of uh, LED lights here that roam over to our battery pack that wires up to the um, battery pack inside that I'll show you guys. So that's one of the things that I do want to upgrade on the uh, iCamper is um, cutting out a hole in the corner, adding a grommet and running power up here so that I I have power at, at the inside the rooftop tent at all times. So that's going to be a, a mod that we're going to be doing soon. The back seats usually where Bear sleeps and, and travels with. So this is the uh, Jackery. This is a third day. Um, we're in shade right now. It's kind of towards the evening, so there's zero charge. The fridge is also on idle, so zero used. Uh, we should be able to last uh, almost through the rest of the night and uh, head on home. So that's the Jackery setup. I have some recovery gear here an axe here, some areas to grab any storages up there, usually our pillows up there. That's toilet paper. All right, so on my previous video, uh, we showed you guys this really cool external propane mount. It's detachable, so that's great. Whenever I'm not using it, I just unlock this and it's it just leaves. So I don't always have to drive with it. All right, let's start off with the uh, cooking. This is a stand sport. It's just a regular two burner. Um, I bought a large skillet top, which I love cooking on a skillet. So this is great. It just sits right here and I cook our breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, everything here. This is nice because it has a wind deflector on both sides. Uh, this is a front runner table that I mounted. I also have a video on how I mounted this to the uh, tire carrier. This also has a pull out cutting board if I need that. And I have it wired up to the Flame King five pound. This has been great. This is our um, cooking gears. So let's take a look at that. It's kind of hard to open with one hand, but my knife, a little cutting board, tongs, sponge, uh, can opener. Next seasoning, uh, this is salt, pepper, lemon pepper. These are, these actually have a magnet here. So they lock on or lock, or we leave them there. It's really handy. We're cooking a six foot um, extension hose here. So when we close the rig, we're able to actually hook it up to the buddy heater on top. So that helps on cold nights. Now let's talk about the fridge and couple storage uh, systems here. 
Um, I always like boxes to keep things organized. So it's always a box within a box. Um, I, this is real cheap. It's lightweight. I take it out after every camping trip so that my dog still has access to this back area here. Um, this is from Walmart. It's just a two shelf plastic bin. About agreeable soaps and coffee containers, sponges, hoses, coffee and lights. Uh, this is a uh, part of a canvas back liner that we had on our vehicle and I just pretty much customized this and cut this in the, in the corner here so that it tucks in the dog can jump in and I also like to use this as you can see it's super dusty here I also like to use this as a as a seat as I tailgate and watch my food and when I'm done it just folds up so that's how I keep that fridge so fridge and storage systems here so this is where the um, stove and the table stores in afterwards with a strap this is a slide out where i keep all the utensils and any other parts i need to access easily this is an ice cold fridge 60 liters I've only had this for about six months now. I love it. I don't have to worry about ice anymore. And um, this is a slide out system that my buddy Ham built me. It's aluminum, so it's super lightweight. Slides out all the way, so I'm able to access my kitchen easily. Temperature settings. Over here, we have our awning system. This is a Smitty Belt retractable awning, six by six, six and a half by six and a half. I'm getting, I got this from Overlanded. Uh, this is the first time I actually put it out to use, and I love this setup. Even though I'm surrounded by these beautiful trees here, um, there are times where it, it peeks through and Bear does like shading. So he likes to chill on that Teton match or that Teton cot. This is a 600 pound capacity cot that we slide right here. I love it. It's been, I've been having this for about five years and um, I don't leave our trips without that. Sometimes I sacrifice our chairs um, so that I'm able to bring this cot. And there you have it guys. Uh, this is my current setup. Um, let me know what you guys think. There's a couple more mods that I'm looking to get done, like running electricity to the rooftop tent. And there's a couple other other ones I need to get done. So keep following along. Uh, let me know any other videos you guys want to watch. 